if you want to make changes in your life that helps to understand the universal process of creation. Law of attraction is part of this, and it's the part that sells books and seminars, but it's not the whole story. And so many people discover the law of attraction and then become frustrated when they don't fully get the whole picture. Because imperfection is such a valuable quality that is overlooked in most law of attraction teachings. You see, when you align your vibration with your desire, whatever it is, things begin to flow. As you shift your thoughts and beliefs and see the money, new opportunities, new relationships, whatever you want, you start to get really excited about that and you give it more power. But when your new creation seems to spin out or unravel or just completely fall apart, understand that this is part of the universal process of creation. Our vibration is always in flux, up and down a virtual vibrational spiral. The down exists to reveal the flaws in our creation so that we can create a more perfect version of whatever it is. A new relationship, a new business, a new job or health regime, it doesn't matter. It all works the same. Think of all creation as a journey. Low vibration creates obstacles. Going a little higher creates new desires for improvement in solving the obstacles. Going even higher than that actually allows the full-blown creation of the solution or new desire. But from that high space, going back down again reveals the flaws in our creation and ensures our readiness for it. And in our appreciation of that process, which is unusual in this world, especially the low vibration revealing of the flaws, then in that appreciation state, we actually go back up and the improved creation can then occur. But how often do we give up because things get too difficult or seem to completely fall apart and be hopeless? That's a result of the low vibrational thought process. But we don't have to stay there. You'll often hear about successful people or products or businesses about how they spun out so many times, how they went bankrupt or the new creation just totally fell apart, especially in relationships. The success stories are about those who kept at it. They understood the universal process of creation, the high to low and back to high again journey that drives all new creation of all things. We see this represented all around us all the time. And the ones that you don't hear about, at least not as much, are the ones who failed because they gave up. They didn't allow the full process to reveal the flaws. They just quit. So if you want to create something, even if that something is just feeling better or being happier, the process is always the same. Understanding that the high to low to high again, up and down nature of this vibrational flow that we're all operating in is life changing. And the next time you catch yourself on a low vibrational spin out, when suddenly everything goes to crap and seems hopeless, understand that this is just part of the process of creation at play. It's universal design and you always have the option of moving through the challenge and appreciation of it, just appreciating the process for what it is, as opposed to the judgment of it that causes you to suffer and ultimately quit your new creation. The good news is we can always begin again and every experience, even our failures, expand our consciousness, making us more sophisticated versions of ourselves eternally.